But uh, I mean, stuff happens. All we can do is learn from it. Yeah. What, what's Burke like in person? <laughs> Burke is real. You know, he's uh, it's not talk. You know, yeah. and it's not a uh, national wide. So he's really good. Uh, I mean, I respect his game. Uh, I, I just played against him. So I mean, he's the real deal. What, what was that like for you when? You guys, first 13 minutes you guys are playing, I mean, even in your head a little, you know, you're playing right with them and then whoosh, it goes so fast. What happened from your point? I mean, we just took our minds off the game plan. Uh, you know, we came out strong. That's the, uh, one of our weaknesses. We got to sustain. And, uh, you know, we told everybody the last four minutes is going to be the key, you know, and um, you know, it just got away from us. Yeah. As a guy who prides himself on defense, is it, that much more disheartening when you see a, a game just slip away like that and they you look up and suddenly they're up as big as they are? Yeah, I mean, all I can do is uh, motivate my teammates uh, to keep getting after it, you know. Uh, I think we got after it like the first 13 minutes, first mm -hmm. 10 minutes of the game. Uh, you know, we just let it slip, you know. Uh, you know, playing the number two team in the country, I mean, you can't, you can't relax at all, not at all. So, uh, I mean, all we can do is learn from it and uh, – you know, get ready for Michigan State. Do you think it's almost as easy as they started coming back, you guys felt like you needed to, on offense, really needed to score, and then it kind of relaxed on defense while trying to make it? Um, you know, Coach McCaffrey bugged us about it and said, uh, you know, we can't be satisfied with trading baskets. Uh, you know, after we score, we have to try to come back and uh, have in our mindset that we have to stop them. You know, we can't, you know, once we get up two, we got to try to get up four or five. If we get a five, we got to try to get eight or seven, you know. So, I mean, that's just got to be our mindset. You, uh, you know, I got the home state team coming into your place. Are, are you looking forward to that, playing against uh, your old teammate again? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, I was just talking to him yesterday about it. Uh, you know, he said it's going to be weird, but, I mean, uh, at the end of the day, it's another game, you know. Uh, we're still trying to come out victor victorious. So, I mean, it should be a fun one, but, you know, it's still business. Yeah. You think your high school coach will be pulling against you? <laughs> Uh, I haven't talked to him about it, so I'm going uh, to get after him like that. I mean, he's a Michigan State alumni, so I'm pretty sure I'm not down on him if he goes from Michigan State. But I know he's cheering me on, um, you know. And uh, his wife is coming to the game, so I get the chance to see her and, uh, you know, get that line back. I think Coach Valentine is uh, proud of both you and his son. I mean, you're both, you know, doing pretty well as freshmen. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, you know, whenever you got a high school coach that sends their player off to uh, college, you know, is having a successful year, uh, you know, you always got to be happy with that. I think I was the eighth D1 player that he sent off to college. So, um, you know, with that said and done, I mean, I'm pretty sure he is proud. Yeah, hey, how often do you talk to Daniel? You guys talk a lot. Yeah, we talk about every day. Do you about everything? Yeah, every day. Uh, and my other best friend uh, at Cleveland State, you know, we ain't hollering a group message. Uh, you know, I talk to uh, Coach Valentine, you know, every so and so. You know, I know he's working, uh, trying to get my high school back. Mm -hmm. So, was this the best team in the nation, you think? You just it's a tough team. Uh, you know, I give them credit. They they play like the number two team in the country. So, um, I mean, all I can do is learn from it. They just they seem to have games. so many weapons. Whether it's Burke, of course, to, to the three point shooting and then explosive players on the perimeter. Yeah, that's the thing. When you focus so much on Burke, uh, you know, they always got lethal weapons on the wing that can come after you too. You know, Hardaway, you know, outstanding player. You know, and then you got Robinson attacking the glass, tip dunking, dunking everything. And then you got Stoutsis, you know, just a flat-out knockdown shooter. I think he's the best shooter in the country right now. So, I mean, with players like that, I mean, you just have to respect the team all around. You know, you can't just focus on one, you know. Uh, I mean, as an individual player, you know, you just got to lock in mentally and say, I got to guard my yard, you know, and I'll take the challenge.